Now the author of the book, Sharks in the Water says, every day, whether in business or in life, there are sharks in the water. There's hardly a person out there that hasn't run into a shark. In spite of all this, we continue to live. This is not an excuse to stop. Whatever happens, we don't have to stop going for our dreams. Jeff Ryan is using his own near death experience to help others find their purpose and overcome obstacles. Now, Jeff, everything I just said, some of that is literal. Some of that is metaphorical uh, because we're talking about sharks in the water because you're actually a surfer. Yeah, that's right. I love surfing. So, you know, in this case, we were talking about the literal shark that yeah. happened to swim past, but it is in life. Things happen. I had a really bad accident a number of years ago, and I don't want to focus on the on that and the, the things that that did for me, but overcoming that and, um, and wow. going forward and Oh, well, actually, yeah, just seeing that photo reminds me. But yeah, um, it's the after and not focusing necessarily on the obstacle, but how that obstacle can make us stronger and how it can, it can drive us and make us a better person. So. so how do you go from that and feeling that to putting it all into a book for us? For me, I ended up, I had a number of injuries. I think from that photo, you can see I had about 250 shrapnel wounds in me. I had a broken shoulder and a whole lot of other things. Now those injuries mostly got better. I was left with a brain injury mm -hmm. and a part of the rehab for the brain industry is you write things down. Yeah. So I wrote down things just even in a rehab form, but at some point I, um, somebody said to me that story needs to be put in a book. And I do a lot of teaching on business and I combine the teaching about life principles, business principles with the story of what happened and really try to help empower other people just to be all that they can be in life, really. Now, we're looking at the front cover of it, and you actually told me a really interesting story about the picture that's on the front. Yeah. So that was just um, really in that case there, I was just surfing and enjoying in front of my house. I was just enjoying some waves. And I'd said to my wife, I'd be home about five. So we're going to have dinner around then. And I looked at my watch. It was about 20 to six. And so I'm, whoops, better get in. <laughs> and uh, just paddled in and went around a rock to come in and waved to a photographer, went home. And then the next day in the newspaper was a, a big picture and it said this surfer didn't even see what was in the wave coming wow. at him. And some people asked my wife, did that worry her that we're yeah. surfing and there's sharks in the water? And she has an attitude that how many other things happen that we never knew. Yeah. We could have turned left, we could have turned right. And we can't focus on the dangers that might be that we need to be wise, yeah. but we can't focus always on this might happen or that might happen. We're really about focusing on purpose and yeah. why we're on this planet. What's my reason for being? And my goal, particularly since the accident, and I travel around the world helping people reach their full potential beyond their wildest dreams through so some of the teaching that I do. And, and we run an aid organization that helps empower people. And uh, yeah, we take surfers from all over the world and we do disaster relief and aid and development. And surfers are particularly easy to mobilize. They can get on planes pretty quickly, talented. And yeah, we do a lot of aid work all over the planet and uh, we're about to launch a new aid organization called Groundswell Aid. And that's taking some of what we've done and taking it on a global scale, so. Wow, so you have really taken your situation helping literally again by going out yeah. and doing with the actions and then also helping by just the spoken word or speaking to people and That's giving it. them. Are you hoping that they will then also be moved to action? I actually, there's, you know, we always talk about that whole pay it forward. Yeah. And I, with a brain injury, you need to break things down. So I use the word for me, the word power. And power, I use the P for purpose. What's yeah. our purpose? O, obstacles, overcoming obstacles. W, write down your dreams. E, enjoy what you do. I can see that yeah. you enjoy what you do and you're really good at it. Oh, and then the other is R is representatives. Have people that have got our backs. And whether we're selling newspapers on the street, whether we're running major corporations, we need to have good people in our life that have got our back and I really talk about empowering people, empower it forward and um, and really taking what we have and then passing that on to others. So yeah, that's kind of what we do and I love it. I love seeing people that are at one point in their life and if they want us to be a part of it, to help them to go to a whole nother level, yeah. whether they're living in a slum or whether they're in a business or they're in the result of a natural disaster, helping them to just empower them to be all they can be.
I love that. Empower it forward. Yeah. Empower oh, it forward. Yes. how uh, powerful is it. that? And it's, you can do it with anyone. Yeah. You can buy a paper from somebody on the street and see how, what it is they enjoy. Yeah. How can we make them all that they wanted to be? Or, you know, I met a taxi driver in my last city and, and she was my first taxi driver, but she, her husband's dying of cancer. And mm. we ended up, she drove me from place to place to place. And rather than getting 10 taxis, I used her 10 times. Yeah. And, and just to help empower her life. And I think all of us just need to look outside of ourselves. Mm -hmm. And we've got, we might have hassles of problems, but really, how can we empower other people? Look outside of ourselves and, and get good people around us. So when we need help, we've got people that have got our back and let's be the kind of people that have got other people's back, which I'm sure you have amazing amount of people that have got your back when you need help. And, and we do that, I have that, and, and I want others to have it. And everyone can have that. It's just a matter of allowing people to share, to talk, and tell what it is there that's going on in their life and for us having time to listen. You know? Wow. Well, you know, this book could be the first step for somebody to exactly. get into that. So I'm going to remind them how they can get the book. But Jeff, thank you so much for sharing your story. This no was worries. so interesting. No worries. Thank you. You're amazing. Now, to learn more and get the book, you can visit teachinspireempower.org and misfitaid.com.